Hello, this is Tim from the Utah Education Network, and we are on to part four of this tutorial on how to make flyout menus that are triggered uh, by buttons or a navigation bar created in fireworks. Okay, so we're right at the point we've got our menus created. They're down here, and I've got them turned on so they're visible, so we can kind of see them. And I'm going to hook those up to the assignment and the calendar button. So let's start with the assignment button first. So I select the assignment button because what I want to have happened is when my visitor rolls over that assignment button I want it to trigger two things to happen. First the menu needs to show up and then it needs to snap into the right place. So it's going to actually attach itself onto that button. So if that button happens to move the menu will sh keep showing up in the right place. Um, and you say, well gosh, when would that button move? Well, if your layout has been set up to center inside the browser, then the, that button is going to show up basically in a different place depending on how wide the browser is open. So, um, I need my menus hooked to the button, not just centered on the screen. So, that's what we're going to do. So, everything happens um, uh, by it, the trigger is this button. So, with that button selected, I need to get a, uh, a panel open here that's going to let me add JavaScript behaviors to that button. Okay, so I can see that my behavior panel is not open. So if I go under the window menu, I should be able to come down and find a behaviors panel. It's about right in the middle. Okay, so you can see it turns on. It's actually part of the tag inspector up here. Um, and you can see the tag inspector has two parts. And I want behaviors. And I can see there's already two behaviors on this button um, and fireworks created those it's the it's the rollover or the swap image so it just says hey when the mouse uh, on mouse over so when the mouse rolls over that button swap the image meaning remember the state one and state two from back in fireworks so swap state one for state two and state two comes in that's the one with the black text and then you can see the other one up here says on mouse out swap image restored that just means put them back where they were so those need to stay I'm just going to add two more and there's a little plus button here that lets me go down and see. Now, if I look down this list, we'll find this one called Studio 7. And if Studio 7 is showing up, that means that you installed those three extensions correctly. And those are the three extensions um, I'm going to use. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use to get these menus to turn on is the Auto Layers extension. So I'm going to click that and I get a little dialog box. And it's asking me when the mouse rolls over this assignments button, which which one of these do I want to have turn on? And you can see, since I named them, it's pretty easy. I want the assignment menu to show. You have to click that show button just by highlighting it. That won't do anything. I need to highlight the one I want and click show, and then say OK. OK. So with that, um, I want to look at my behavior panel. You can see I've got three now. Um, unfortunately, the default behavior over here is on click, so that menu would not show unless my visitor clicked on this, and that's not what I want. I want it to be on mouse over, so I'm going to just click right on it, and I'll get a little menu um, that I can add on mouse over. Okay. All right. So now I've got three um, in there. So on mouse over, auto layers, and auto layers turns on that menu. Um, so I, now, when, if I were to turn it on right now, it would show up down here. So I'd roll over the button. This menu would show up down here because this is where it lives. Um, but that's not what I want to have happen. When I roll over it, I want it to show up right underneath. So I need to add another extension. So the button is still selected. The graphic is still selected. I'm going to click the plus, come down to Studio 7 again, and this is where the snap layers one um, is going to work. So. Uh, these extensions call our DIVs, they call them layers. Um, but because of confusion with Photoshop layers and fireworks layers, they're now, Dreamweaver just refers to them as divs, div tags, because that's what they really are. Um, but these extensions were created a little while ago, so that's why you see this layer come up. So snap layer. All right, so this little dialog box um, takes a little more uh, work. And there's four things we need to do. First is the anchor object. What's the name of the object or what's the name of this button? 
Um, so if I open up that menu, you'll see it's a big list, and you think, geez, which one of those is it? Well, all you have to do is, since that button is selected over here, if you look down in the property bar, it's showing up. So that button, its file name is navbar R1C4S1. So I just have to find that, uh, which is easy. Um, navbar R1C4S1, and I select that one. Okay, so that's the anchor object, that's the button and the layer that I want to snap on I've got to tell it that as well so I open this up and I can see my layers and I need the assignment menu okay so that hooks the my menu onto that specific button and then I need to tell it where I want that layer how I want it to hook onto the button if I leave it at zero zero that means the the upper left hand corner of my layer or of my menu is going to be right on top of the upper left hand corner of the graphic or the anchor object which means it would be on top of it I don't want that I want it to be underneath right flush with the bottom which means I need to bring it down from the top which is this value right there and I need to know how much well it's just the height of this button and again the button selected so I can look in the property bar and I can see that it's 35 pixels so I want to offset from the top 35 pixels okay so those four items say OK and I look over here on my behavior panel again and I can see that it defaults to on click so I need to change that to on mouse over okay so now four things are happening and if I look close the top two and they might rearrange their order sometimes they'll alphabetize themselves um, uh, and often if you click on and back on, off onto this thing come on you can do it there you go um, but you just want to kind of check uh, that I've got auto layers that turns the layer on and it's happening on mouse over and I've got snap layer that puts the layer or the div the menu whenever I say layer think menu or div that puts it in the right place and that's happening on, on mouse over if you think you've made a mistake you can always double click right on this and it opens the dialog box back up so I can adjust it okay so let's test this out and see if this first one works okay so I'm gonna switch back to my AP elements because I want to turn off these um, so that when they go to the browser they are um, not visible okay so, so you can see how the menus are turned off they're down here oh, oh, I gotta bring that over sorry <laughs> okay so alright sorry I rolled over it accidentally okay so here's what the page is gonna look like when it's just sitting there and um, those those layers that I created, those divs, those menus there, they live down here. But remember, I turned them off so my mouse doesn't see them. And when I what I want to have happen when I roll over this assignment button, I want the assignment menu to show up. So it's going to turn on and it's going to snap onto the button. Those two things will happen pretty much at the same time. And let's see if it does. Sure enough, there it shows up. And I should be able to move my mouse down so I could get to these links if I needed to. Okay, now if I move off, oh, nothing happens. That menu still shows up. So I need to add one more thing that's going to turn turn that menu off. Okay, if I wanted to see it again, I have to refresh the page, roll over, it turns on, and my menu shows up. Okay, so let's do the second one. Let's get the second calendar one hooked up, and then we'll add the uh, add the capability so that these menus turn off after my mouse goes off of them. Okay, so I'm going to select the calendar button and then I need to get to the behavior panel and if you can't remember where it is you can always go to window behaviors it turns on okay so the calendar button has those the, the swap image that came from fireworks I'm gonna add to that so go to studio 7 auto layers select the calendar menu layer and click show and then OK Then I gotta change this from on click to on mouse over all right, and then I need to add the, the snap to it. So, plus Studio 7 snap layers. Okay, now if I, that calendar is selected, so I look down into the source here, and it's navbar R1C6S1, which seems long, but not that big a deal. Uh, so I look down my list, find the one, R1C6S1, it's that one. Then I need to make sure it snaps on the right menu, or the right layer. I want the cow menu and then I want it offset from the top and 35 which is the height of um, the calendar button so it shows off underneath I'm going to click OK change the on click to on mouse over 
Okay, I'm going to save all that stuff and let's preview it in the browser. Okay, let me pull that in so we can have a look. Again, my mouse rolled over the uh, the button. Okay, so there's my there's my layout. I should when I roll over the calendar, I should get the calendar show up. And when I roll over assignments, the assignments show up. Now, if I go side to side, you can see they turn each other off because that um, auto um, layer says that if you roll over the assignments button, turn on the assignments layer, but turn off everything else, and that just happens by default. Um, but what I want to have happen is when the mouse goes down to this menu and then I decide I don't want to click on any of these links, I want this menu to go away. So when my mouse goes out, I want it to turn off. Okay, so we just have that last thing to do. Let's do that quick. And I want it's usually the last thing you would do um, if you had six menus, you'd do those first two behaviors on all six menus, um, all six buttons or whatever, however many um, flyout menus you need. Uh, and then I want to set up this auto hide one time and it kind of works automatically. I just need to tell this extension um, which layers to pay attention to. So I'm going to put it on the body tag. So I select the body tag down here um, and I go to the behavior panel again. You can see there's already a behavior there that says on load preload images. That's for these rollover buttons. So when this page loads, get this, get the get all the images ready. I'm going to add to that and again it's down in that Studio 7 category and it's called Auto Hide. Okay and I just need to tell it what layers to, tr to hide. So I select my two menus and click auto hide. So those two are going to get turned off automatically. I say OK. That's all I need to do. I don't need to change the behavior. This is sort of a package deal. And uh, so when I put that one on and then preview it in the browser, um, and I roll over this, the menu comes on, and when I, if my mouse goes down and touches the menu and then goes off, you can see it closes. Same thing with calendars. I roll over the calendar button, go down to the layer or the menu. When the mouse goes off of it, it turns off, which is exactly what I wanted. So when I go side to side, they turn each other off. If I go down and touch it, it turns it off. Now, we haven't set it up. If I go, if I roll over calendar and the calendar menu shows up, and then I go to about, I haven't set that up. So I'd have to, I could do a little booby trap here that uh, when the mouse hit this, it would turn off these layers. But that, we'll leave that for another time. So right now, I just want to get these two working. Now, if I needed to go back and edit anything, um, here's all I need to do. Like if you're troubleshooting, it doesn't work. Select the button look at your behaviors and you could come in and double click on either one of these to make sure that it's set up the cow menu show I've clicked the show button that's a common mistake um, snap layer common mistake is not to set up the right uh, layer the right menu to show up so I could uh, change that the other common mistake is to not have these set to on mouse over um, that's important as well um, and if I needed to edit my flyout menus, you can see they're hidden down here. So I'd have to go to AP Elements, um, click the eyeball um, until they came back on. Oh, come on, guys, show up. There we go. Okay, keep clicking the eyeball, then they come back on, and I can edit them just like they're plain text. I could create, um, I could write some more styles to make those menus look a little prettier. Uh, but that is it. That gets these flyout menus working and functioning. Thanks for watching.